Okay, so you have a problem with your battery. You go into your car, you turn your key on, and your car makes no sound. Um, you may notice that maybe your lights come on and they get dim really bad, you know, if you do it at night, or you hear a clicking sound. Just click, 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 click. Turn your key off, you do it again, and it clicks again. Nine times out of 10, uh, it could be your battery is dead, uh, which probably is a possibility, or nine times out of 10, it could be you have dirty connections to your battery posts, as you can see in this picture here. Uh, this one needs to be done really bad. So I'm gonna show you how to clean your battery cables that connect to your battery posts. I get calls all the time, people, you know, in the morning, they're trying to go to work and they get in their car and their car won't start. And nine times out of 10, it's because they don't take care of their battery uh, cables that connect to their posts. You can have this done really cheap if you go to a battery uh, place. Um, most places will do it for you. It's a pretty simple fix. Only takes five, 10 minutes. They charge you anywhere from 20 to $30. Some places uh, you'll find even cheaper places that'll do it even you know more cheaply, but you can do it yourself. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it here. Uh, you don't need the tools that I'm gonna show you in this video. But if you do have them, it's a lot more convenient. Um, anyway, so let's take a look at this video. Okay, so one of the first things you wanna do is you wanna get some wrenches that fit these screws on either side. Each setup is different, you know, every car is different. So I can't really tell you which wrenches to use, so you're just gonna to have to pick and choose which one fits better. Make sure they fit really tight because what you don't wanna do is strip them out and next thing you know, you're gonna have a heck of a time now trying to get those bolts out or screws out. So uh, as you can see in the arrows here, these are the screws you wanna take off. Um, I would suggest you take off the positive first, which is the red line or the red cable. And if you don't have a red cable, just look around on the battery. There, there should be a molded plus sign and a negative sign there on top of your battery. Uh, look for the plus sign, that's the one you want to take off first. Okay, as you can see, we're just using a ratchet with, uh, you know, the proper size socket to remove the uh, nuts that are connected to the terminal. So it's, you know, it's pretty simple. It's, it's really not that hard to, to do. Again, use the correct size socket for the nut, the correct nut there. So you can see we're removing the... ...positive. Uh, how we know this one's the positive, it's got that yellow line on that black wire, as you notice. You can see we just twisted off the terminal with a pair of channel locks. Doing the same thing on the other negative uh, cable. Just the same thing, just unscrew it with the correct size socket. Just gonna knock off any debris that's on there. Now you can use these special brushes. You can buy these at Harbor Freight or any parts store. They just attach to your drill. Uh, there's a couple of them, one for the post and one for your cables. If you don't have a drill, just go ahead and use a brush or some sandpaper. Uh, a metal, you know, brass brush uh, will do. Uh, and just, you know, just brush the heck out of it. Or the same thing with some sandpaper, just sandpaper it really good. Using a drill makes it really convenient, as you can see. As you're sanding, either with a brush or sandpaper or using it with a drill, just make sure you get all, any and all rust and corrosion off of it to where you just have fresh metal. That's the important part, no matter what you use, is make sure you, you know, get it to the point where you just see metal, fresh metal. Okay, so now we're gonna spray this with some battery cleaner. Uh, th what this does, it neutralizes the acid and uh, helps prevent corrosion. Um, anyway, you just spray it on and you just rinse it off. Uh, it's, you know, good for battery castings, cable connectors, 
and hold downs and stuff like that. But if uh, you can find this in any auto parts places, uh, you just look for a battery cleaner or a battery terminal cleaner. As you can see, we're doing the other side now and uh, just making sure that the connection is really clean to where we see bare metal, no corrosion on it. You may have to get in there with a uh, utility knife or a small uh, screwdriver to uh, clean out you know, any nooks and crannies that the brush can't get into. Okay, as you can see, we're just, uh, you know, wiping off the cleaner off the terminal there and, uh, you know, just cleaning any of the excess uh, solution that's on there. It's not going to hurt it if, it if it's left on. Uh, if anything, it's going to prevent the uh, cable from getting corroded like that again because, it you know, it eats up the acid. Okay, so we're just applying the same cleaner and on the other terminal, uh, just doing the same process to the other one. Uh, we're also going to be spraying on the first terminal some contact cleaner and then what's that going to do is just going to really clean the, the posts uh, of any debris and, and uh, dirt, grease, anything. Uh, and of course it neutralizes the acid. Using a little WD-40 helps uh, clean out the cleaner uh, and also lubricates and, and helps uh, seal. It seals and it prohibits, it seals and it protects your cables from getting rusty also. You can see how clean our cables look, they almost look new. Okay, now it's time to uh, reconnect our terminals to the battery posts. You can see we've got these felt uh, washers that go in that also help absorb up the acid and it prevents corrosion. But be careful with uh, applying these felt uh, washers in because uh, some, like the one that we're installing right now, uh, the terminal, uh, if it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the post, uh, it'll work its way loose. So uh, you can see here we had to remove the post and remove that felt washer because the terminal wasn't getting tight. It needed to sit to the, at the bottom of the post. So watch that when you put these little felt washers in. Uh, otherwise you'll be back to square zero <coughs> and uh, you know you won't make a good connection because the post got loose. Uh, you want that post to be tightened on there really really snug. Not too much, uh, but you know, it needs to be really snug. Okay, now all we're doing is just reassembling the uh, new terminal that we installed. We decided to put a new one on because the old one was looking kind of ragged. So, um, got a new terminal in, and again, just retightening everything up. It's pretty simple.
Okay, now we're gonna protect our cables. We're gonna spray on some lead-free protective coating that's specifically formulated to prevent corrosion from forming on the battery terminals. This is the major cause of hard starting and battery failure. If you don't have a good connection, your alternator is not going to charge your battery and your battery will eventually die. Okay, it looks like we're done here. That didn't take very long. If you got your tools ready, it shouldn't take but five minutes, ten minutes at the most. Uh, it's kind of fun to do, it's really easy. So check out my other videos that I have on car repair. Uh, I'm sure there's something there that you'll find uh, very interesting. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.